Hello, in today's video, we are going to talk about cats. A cat, or Felis catus belongs to the family Felidae. There are two subspecies, first is the Pantherini, which includes the tiger, lion, jaguar, leopard and snow leopard. Second is the Felinae, which includes the cougar, cheetah, lynxes, ocelot and the domestic cat. Cats are carnivorous mammals with retractable claws. Feral cats are domestic cats, that have returned to the wild, or was born in the wild. The domestic cat has soft fur, a short snout and is widely kept as a pet or for catching mice. Many breeds of cats have been developed today, and these cats are what we love to call pets. Between 70,000 and 100,000 years ago, the Near Eastern wild cat which roamed the deserts of Israel, Saudi Arabia and other Middle Eastern countries gave rise to the genes that eventually produced all domesticated cats as we know them today. It is often difficult or impossible for even the trained eye to tell them apart, which has made studying them really hard. The earliest archaeological evidence for domestic cats was found in Cyprus, and dates back approximately 9,500 years. Early Egyptians, worshipped a cat goddess. Bast, was a lioness goddess of the sun throughout most of ancient Egyptian history, but later she was changed into the cat goddess Bastet. At the height of Bast's popularity, killing a cat even accidentally was punishable by death. The Egyptians mummified millions of cats, birds, and other creatures at temples to prepare them for the next world. Hello! This video is sponsored by Bmix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Animals were viewed not only as pets, but as types of gods, and the cat was a very important animal. Cats were also important in the interpretation of dreams. Apparently seeing a cat in your dream, confirmed that you would have a good harvest. Herodotus, a Greek historian in the 5th century, recorded that the Persians used the Egyptians' love of cats against them. Apparently, the Persians captured a large number of cats and let them loose on the battlefield outside Pelusium. When the Egyptians saw the terrified cats running around the battlefield, they surrendered rather than risk harm to their beloved friends. That was mean, but clever too. Some people think that cats became domesticated, when people realized they preyed on rodents. So they began leaving food out to tempt the cats to pay a visit on a regular basis. Understandably the cats pretty much liked this idea as being close to humans gave them a whole heap of food. This also kept them out of harm's way from larger predators. Like their wild relatives, domestic cats are natural hunters and are able to stalk prey, and pounce with sharp claws and teeth. You might have seen them stalking a bird. They have brilliant night vision, allowing them to see at light levels six times lower than what humans see. Cats have excellent hearing and a strong sense of smell. They are nimble, agile and their long tails help them keep balance. Cats keep those energy levels up by sleeping an average of 13 to 14 hours a day and they live to about 12 to 14 years. If this video was helpful, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.